It's Kevin, it's your favorite YouTube channel of all time. Thanks for watching. So this weekend I was thinking about watching this movie called Mary Magdalene. And then I was like, wait a minute, didn't I film a reaction video to that? Did I ever release that? Turns out I didn't. I'm thinking about putting out a review of it after I watch it, which I haven't watched it yet. So uh, this is a little throwback episode of a video that I never released that is kind of what I thought before. And then after I watch it, I'll uh, I'll do a quick review of it and let you know what I think about it after. So uh, it'll be a fun little game. All right, uh, enjoy. There are a lot of Christian movies coming out this year, some that I'm actually pretty excited about seeing and some that I know are gonna be bad and I'm excited about that because I'll get to, it just gives me more content. It's a mixed bag this year and maybe by the end of the year, next year, we'll say like, wow, that was the worst year for Christian movies ever. How could that be possible? I don't know but we'll find out. One of the movies that I'm I'm genuinely excited about that comes out this year, 2018, if you're watching this later and, and you don't know how to read the date or YouTube shuts down and, and I have to upload this on VidMe, Mary Magdalene is the movie that I'm interested in seeing what it's like, what it's about. The reason why is because it stars Joaquin Phoenix as Jesus Christ. If you've ever read his story, it's really kind of salad, sad, salad. It's really kind of salad, you know? Joaquin Phoenix is a mixed salad. His brother died, and that's sad. And then he was raised in like a cult or something, so that's also sad. I actually feel bad for the guy, to be honest with you. River Phoenix, he was a good actor. Loved him as young Indiana Jones, that movie Sneakers. Anyway, let's check it out. Right now, it's called Mary Magdalene. No subtitle, just what a what a good name. Mary Magdalene being the, uh, the woman who was a prostitute called out of prostitution. I appreciate that about Jesus. Like, he wasn't afraid to talk to people who didn't agree with him or who were different than him. Helping a girl get out of prostitution is a good thing. I will always praise anybody who is able to do that. I'm not saying that I, I think prostitution should be illegal to my libertarian friends, but what I am saying is I don't recommend it as somebody who has no experience in either selling or purchasing sexual favors. I'm under the impression that prostitution is just a bad idea all around. Mary Magdalene, everybody. The Untold Story. Mary Mang oh, that was the teaser for the trailer. So far, I'm really interested. I know that I'm only 43 seconds into the trailer and half of that was a trailer for the trailer. For some reason, Walking Phoenix does a good Jesus because I mean, maybe he's nothing like what Jesus was like and I don't know. I, I've never met the guy in human form. But the thing about Jesus is a lot of times he's portrayed as somebody who is very like either a hippie or he's just cold. This so far, even though he's a bit like hippie-ish. I like that kind of genuine compassion there that uh, Jesus has. Maybe one of the more real versions of Jesus. If this is just like a bunch of whispering and then like feelings and then how come men and women are different? If it's all so far up its own rear end, I'm Jesus and nobody ever realized how much, how good it feels to be Jesus or how difficult it is. But you know what? That's a topic worth exploring too because you know that Jesus did have struggles and difficulties, at least according to the Bible. If, if that's, that's a, a true, true story, story, Jesus had self-doubts. And maybe that was the human part of Jesus Christ. Whenever he's in the garden, he does cry out to God asking like, is this the thing I'm supposed to be doing? I don't know if I can handle this sort of thing. So we know that that's something that Jesus dealt with at least once or twice. So it's at least worth exploring. I mean, I think everybody understands going into a movie like this, that it's extra biblical. Nobody's saying, well, this is a historical documentation of what really happened because what we know of what really happened, we've already read. Exploring that, I enjoy. I know that it's fiction. I hope everybody else knows that uh, the movie is a fictional exploration of what might or could have happened. Us all knowing that going into it is safe. It's a safe space. Huh. I'd have to, I'd have to watch the movie to know more, but there is an aspect of Jesus Christ and of Christianity that often gets lost in modern day Christianity, especially like in, in America, you know, stuff from the 1800s and stuff, this kind of idea that, um, that there's an oppression of women within Christianity. But in reality, Christianity freed women a lot. And Jesus Christ is an example of that, who treated women the same way as he treated men. One of the things about the women discovering the empty tomb is that that's like, culturally at the time, if you were gonna make up a religion, that wouldn't be the most credible way to uh, to spread that sort of thing because women at the time were not considered to be credible testimony. Tell me if I'm wrong on this, but I believe that like you couldn't have a woman as a witness in court at the time be like a credible witness, which is 
that's nuts, that's crazy, and that's that's wrong, but Christianity changed that. Now, I know that there's like rules about women in 1 Corinthians about like how their hair should be. From what I understand, that also has to do with prostitution and like because prostitutes in the temple would shave their head or something. I don't know. That stuff's interesting to me as well. Understanding the culture of the time to understand the book that you're reading. Obviously, there's there's differences, but there is freedom in Christianity and in the Bible that was very revolutionary for the time. And so that's interesting that this movie's kind of uh, exploring that. Favorite part to bring up if you ever talk about Jesus being... Uh, Gracious. Grace, it's the one thing that saves you. Uh, <laughs> they love to talk about the temple and throwing over the temple tables. Like Jesus tossing them temple tables. This is the slam. This is the one. We gonna bring it like it ain't been bro before. My favorite Toby Mac song. Like Jesus tossing, tossing them temple, temple tables. tables. Uh, <laughs> I love that song. The movie looks interesting. It looks good. And I'll finish watching the trailer, but just thinking about when I say Jesus was about grace and love and compassion, I mean it. Like, that's true. I believe that it's more important to be gracious and loving and kind to people, especially if they're not people who believe the same way as you. Now, whenever you do have somebody who believes the same way as you, or at least claims to be, like people who claim to be Christians and like, I'm a Christian, and then they do something that is just disgusting, like being a jerk to people or hurting people unprovoked, that's what Jesus was doing. Like he went into the temple with the religious people and they were selling something that should have not been like like for sale kind of like taking um you know some some terrible tragedy and selling a movie about that or something <laughs> i'm not saying that all christian things should be free because the the and in, in what i'm saying is it's different whenever jesus goes into the temple calling out that type of hypocrisy is different than going to somebody who's never even claimed to be a certain way and saying you're going to hell you jerk i think that's the wrong approach that's how i feel those are my feelings and you can't deny my feelings i know i'm being so brave right now i think that there is no contradiction to say jesus was about love and grace but then also jesus would call out the hypocrites i think that's pretty uh Pretty clear in if you read the book. A movie that I feel like could go off the rails so fast. Like it's the type of movie where you watch it and you're like, okay, wait, are they gonna start like bowing down and worshiping Mary at some point? Like, is this gonna become all the disciples were evil, but Mary was good because she was a woman, you know, kind of the, the magic woman. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but in the trailer, it never gets to that point just based on what I've seen. Like, I could infer a lot of things. Oh, this is gonna be a bunch of liberal propaganda, try to rewrite history, and try to rewrite the story of Jesus. But, if I just take the, the trailer at face value, it looks really intriguing, really interesting, and nothing about it so far, unless you, you, you could tell me in the comments below if you saw something that I didn't see, let me know. In the comments below what you thought of the trailer and what you think of it. I don't know any of the backstory behind it. I know that Joaquin Phoenix is in it. I know that Rooney Mara is in it, big name actors, but I don't know anything about the people behind it. It could be like some, some cult that's making this movie and you guys are gonna say, Kevin, this is a cult movie. You should know that, you should do your research. But that's not the point of a reaction video, is it? I'll do my research when I, uh, when I review the movie. Once again, let me know in the comments below what you think about it, and, and if there's anything that you think I should research about this movie, or that I should know, uh, let me know, and I'm sure you will. You guys have never been shy about letting me know. I don't know why I've said let me know so many times in this video, but please, did I say that? Let me know! All right! Good night! Inflatable tube man. Inflatable tube man. Stop it. Inflatable tube man. Tube man.